Namaste Angels, thank you for joining, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. If you're new here, I've been doing bi-weekly readings. Um, I used to do them a long time ago, and then I started doing them again, I guess about a month ago. And um, the cards will be pre-laid. If you're interested in seeing whether I'm a genuine psychic and I can shuffle and do readings live and all that kind of stuff, I've been on YouTube for about three years now. I have over 1,900 videos on YouTube. So plenty of opportunities for you to check that out and you know get to know me a little bit better and things like that. But I welcome you. I thank you for joining. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you're not yet a subscriber, hit the both of the buttons because I have such a tremendous problem with this channel with um, my viewers who want to not receiving their notifications and me trying to come up with like creative other ways to send them. So I'm like on Facebook and making announcements or an IG and all this kind of stuff, hoping that you guys will know that I've put up a new video. All right. So Scorpio, enough about me. Let's get to you. You, oh my God, you are the first sign to have all major arcana cards since I've been doing this. All ma When I saw these four, I was like, oh wow, all major arcana, isn't that something? And then the overall energy too is the wheel of fortune upright. They're all super positive too. The only thing that could possibly... Um, in a general sense, be taken at all negatively is death upright in your position of work and finance because it can sometimes mean like um, like somebody may lose their job or something. And you could, yeah, it could be like fired or, or laid off or whatever. Um, but with the other cards that are in connection to this, the other cards that surround it, even though they have different placements, like this is the one that most represents you, your energy directly. It is Major Arcana card, the star, which represents the sign um, otherwise of Aquarius, ruled by Uranus. And um, the star is a, it's just a super healing energy, positive inner energy. Both Uranus and Aquarius, which it rules, are all about freedom and humanitarianism you're probably feeling super inspired and you just want to do something and maybe that's why death shows up here not because you're going to be fired um but because you want out of your job or if you are fired like it's okay you're laid off or something like this something else out there for you something more spiritual something more meaningful um if it, you know whether it's spiritual or not something that is deeper something that makes you feel like you're contributing to the world you know, like you are doing something that is necessary. The world needs you and you are answering the call like to action. Um, and, it, and it may be because of your unique um, like ideas. You may come up with something that we didn't even know we needed. And now you're here available to, to give it to us, to present it to us. Because that's what Aquarius is all about, right? Aquarians have the potential to be that one man on an island you know, that is not going to be a follower that has their own idea, their own sense of identity. And if they have a belief and they feel like they're standing on a principle, they don't care if no one else is, they're going to represent that. And that's what I get from the star for you guys. Now, this can be showing up maybe in part because of all the water, right? The Aquarius, although an air sign, is known as the water bearer. And so for me, it's always given me sort of like in part water sign feels. Um, maybe that's just my wishful thinking because I'm so full of air myself. A lot of it being Aquarius, like my moon is Aquarius, my Mars, um, my south node. I have uh, several positions in Aquarius, but I otherwise don't really have much water. Um, in my chart with the exception of Jupiter and Scorpio. So maybe that was wishful thinking, but I just feel, I've always felt that it's um, been very much connected to the water element. And so I can see it representing you uh, in this reading. But then again, it doesn't really have to represent you. You know why? Because your energy is here. Major Arcana card, death, indeed represents the sign of Scorpio. It's all about transition and transformation, just like you guys are, right? Closing a chapter, moving on to a new one. Death to a situation, an existence, even ourselves, right? Like the old me is done and gone, and then I'm I'm reinvented, I'm reborn as this new and more grand 
being, more divine, greater being each and every time I die. That's what Scorpio is all about. The star says that even in work, um, whereas again, normally death might suggest that a job is coming to an end. The star suggests that good stuff is coming your way. So even if that were to happen, there are opportunities um, that you need to be prepared for. Like dust off your resume and maybe read up on things, do some research and studying different areas um, or topics in which you'd like to work, different um, career sectors, like get brushed up up to speed, see what's new. Like for example, I have a degree in accounting. I have two degrees in accounting. But I haven't looked at any of the, you know, tax law or anything um, in at least a year. I think it's probably longer than that. So if I did want to go into accounting now, I'm gonna, I would have to brush up on some stuff. Something in which you're interested, I suggest you go ahead and brush up. If you have an opportunity to give somebody a resume or send it out somewhere, if you've been considering, you know, applying for a job, but you're like, ah, eh, I'm content in my own job because the star can be about contentment um, at the office. I'm content here. Yeah, content is one thing, and that's good, you know. But at the same time, if you're feeling or, you know, if you have a notion that you prefer to be doing something else, um, definitely with this combination, I'm going to say now's the time for you to attempt to do that. I'm just, like, suggesting that if opportunity knocks, you be prepared to answer because you also have the magician, Major Arcana card, the magician in reverse, crossing this death card. So... In relation to work, the magician in reverse can indicate a resistance, right? You know, sometimes death is about like fighting change, a resistance to change, um, needed change with regard to your work life. And, you know, we just got to sometimes like acknowledge, admit, recognize that nothing stays the same forever. Everything must change. If we don't evolve, like we might as well be dead, you know, and not get back up and, and be reinvented if we decide, you know, to cease to evolve or we, or if we actively cease evolving. So you always want change to be happening, to be healthy. Don't cling to the past, get ready for, um, a new position. And it's going to be really, really fortunate for you again, really, really good for you with the wheel of fortune upright. And I'm going to say that's for the majority of people, um, to whom this work situation and your need for change applies because yes, the wheel of fortune, in the traditional tarot, whether upright or reverse, can be about a reversal of fortune. Like so, if you're experiencing everything awesome right now, something that's not so awesome may be headed your way. But typically, for the most part, it's the other way around, right? We've been stuck in a funky ass energy, and here comes Jupiter, which is um, what the Wheel of Fortune represents. The planet Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius, which it rules. Here comes Jupiter. The ruler, the god and planet of growth, expansion, luck, karma, here to bless us. It's, and this Wheel of Fortune card, as well as Jupiter itself, also very much connected to the sign of Scorpio, in addition to the other fixed signs. Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. The only one you don't have here is Taurus. So I think like Jupiter is really coming through for you. Like to claim you as its favorite son or favorite, you know, favorite child. <laughs> and um, it's going to take good care of you guys. In love, in relation to death, um, this is your position of love and relationship here. It's major arcana card strength, which again represents the sign of Leo. Some of you guys may be dealing with actual Leo. My parents are a Scorpio and a Leo. They're not together, um, but my mom's a Scorpio and my dad's a Leo. Maybe you guys got some combinations like that. Um, but the death, as it relates to love, can mean like similar to you not being necessarily really passionate and feeling about the job. You may be the same way about a relationship. You may even be unhappy, perhaps even very unhappy uh, with death showing up. But you don't want to let go of the relationship because it's familiar. It's convenient. I'm used to it. Uh, this person splits the bills with me. It's easy whatever the situation or we have a child together like making up excuses of why you should remain together even though um it's not working and you are not happy some people just hate to be alone we don't want to be alone whatever the reason is um you need to have an honest discussion with your partner and 
the energy of the star can definitely help you with that. The star can be about communication. All air signs are about communication. So you got the magician here representing the sign of Gemini also. Um, very strong opportunity and energy for communication. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And if it is a relationship that you'd like to try to save, even though you're miserable, maybe unhappy, maybe you think there's a chance of you becoming happy. If you do and you want to work on the relationship, then go ahead. But if you do not, it is time to let this relationship go. And you're being blessed with Major Arcana card strength that gives you the strength, the strength to face any and everything that comes your way. Um, there's a saying, it's like change is, is, change can be scary, but like not changing should be scarier. Or like being stuck in a shitty situation or the, what it costs you, um, should be even more scary. So we should want to move with major arcana card strength in the position of love. Normally, you know, love relationships should be going really well. If you're committed, it's like, you know, likely a very strong relationship, and you guys support each other. Um, strength is also good as it relates to work and finance. And that's why I said like, even though death can mean the ending of a job, you're still going to be all right because you have major arcana card strength up right sitting right next to it. So it's just like a ripe time for you to get out of situations that have not been healthy for you. Um, regardless of where they are or with whom they are it could be a friend too with the magician in reverse there could be a friend a family member a co-worker somebody that's been wearing like a false self mask you can't trust them um and you know maybe you got to make a change there you, but, but you've been hesitant to release the person maybe this person is representative of the crappy relationship that you're in or representative of the crappy job that you have you've been hesitant to release it again you're getting so much support here right now from the universe major arcana cards represent karmic energy an energy um over which we have no control because we have totally have free will, but we have free will over ourselves and not like the major, um, the minor arcana energies that pop up. But the major arcana energies, there's pretty much nothing that we can do about them. And in this case, in your case, Scorpio, why would you want to? Like, it's just like God is here for you. You are like the favorite son or daughter again, for real. You know, you um, like Jesus out here, <laughs> for real. If you're single, what you may be needing to let go of is that energy of, um, you know, maybe being antisocial. You got, you know how you guys are. You like to stay home. You like to keep to yourself. You don't like to share because you don't think that anybody's like worthy of information. You're so deep and you guys are, I'm not, I'm not, you know, mocking you. You guys are, but you're so deep. Like you often think that the other people don't understand, like they can't possibly get to that, that depth and meet you there. You know, for you to have real conversations and, and connections. So you might as well keep to yourself. No, it's time for you to come on out, Scorpio. Some of you may even want to try online dating with the star sitting here above the death card and crossing um, major arcana card strength. You have the confidence to get on out there or to communicate with people, to talk to somebody, to text someone maybe that you haven't spoken to in a while, but that's been on your mind, like whatever. This is this should be a time where you're really feeling strong and confident and powerful, like in your, you know, or empowered rather, like in your element, in your energy. And you, I think you'll be like pleasantly surprised whether you're, um, you know, used to this and you, you've been on a few dates before, um, and or you've just been single and you've been a hermit and you're ready to come out. I think you're going to be pleasant, pleasantly surprised with the results that you get this time around with these kind of energies surrounding you over the next two weeks, Scorpio. And maybe because your birthdays are coming up too. Like a lot of times the, our birthday month, we have, you know, really awesome energy. Your, um, the sun enters your sign on the 23rd of this month. That's the first day of Scorpio. It's my baby girl's birthday. My little one will be 18. She is a, a Scorpio, or I guess a Libra Scorpio Cuspian. I didn't look at the Wheel of Fortune in relation to um, the love, but it says the same thing. It's like when the Wheel of Fortune shows up in relation to love, there may be a relationship that that's, doesn't work for you anymore. It's not fitting. You're unhappy. Um, now, for those of you who are like, but, but, I, but I like my relationship. I don't want to lose or whatever. 
or you know I wish we could fix it or something like that you're in separation you want to get back together that's a possibility you know it doesn't mean that it's definitely you know gonna die completely or has to be severed that it's doomed but it does mean that you are going to have to put some effort into fixing it you could be you know, take this magician energy and that would mean you have all the tools at your you know fingers the wherewithal to do whatever it is you need to do to manifest a better relationship it's definitely going to require uh, communication further to that you got some pretty cool oracle cards too here as i said with the star you may also be feeling particularly enlightened um and aware a higher consciousness you know you're leaving like bullshit behind well your um overall energy from the keepers of the light oracle is master buddha increased awareness deep connection trust your inner voice you guys are superly um naturally um intuitive and, and psychic often and so definitely pay attention to your intuition this month um really really closely like put your ear what is that saying put your ear to the wall or something like that um like really listen carefully and the star can be about that too sinks um signs telepathy whether it's with another person on this plane or it's like, again, receiving um, divine messages intuitively or through mediumship or channeling, all of that could be connected to the star. From um, the fortune reading cards, your overall energy is celebrations. You're ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. You know, like, like pop some bottles, um, three of cups kind of kind of energy, getting out, being social. If you get invited out or something or somebody wants to have a date or you're considering looking for a date, again, you may want to try online dating or texting someone, um, you know, some sort of electronic communication, reaching out to them to see what's up. Oh, wow. OK. Also up right behind whoa also right behind celebrations is luck so like i said jupiter coming through for y'all big time yeah uh you're right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead speaking of strong again major arcana card strength you guys can face anything that comes your way but it seems like all good stuff proposal a romantic or business opportunity is indicated so again you may be leaving a job behind maybe somebody says i'd like you to consider working for me or i like you consider partnering with me let's start a company let's you know do some big things and again you got the strength to do it um, the universe is here to help you. It's giving you all the tools you need in the toolbox to make anything work in any area of your life, whether that means um, walking towards something or someone or walking away from something or someone. You are capable of it all, and it's all going to come up um, like roses for you guys. Wow, Scorpio. The first sign to have all this major arcana. Further to that, for the masculine flowers be generous success and emotional fulfillment are yours so for some i do see um you know you approaching a new relationship i could just picture some of you like giving someone flowers uh, and that's going to be the start of a relationship or even to leave one maybe like that it could be you know sometimes flowers a company uh, and i'm sorry or you put the card in there you know i'm sorry things didn't work out between us but here's a here's a bouquet of flowers um we put flowers on coffins, too, when something is dead, so we're letting it go. But it doesn't mean that we didn't care, all right, that we didn't have a connection, but we can let it go and still have had a connection. So those are the things that I'm getting from flowers for you guys, masculine. For the feminine from the fortune reading cards, it is owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Sure is that if this doesn't say the star and death together, I don't know what does. The spiritual messages that I was talking about, again, coming into all kinds of, of consciousness and awareness, but it's also you're receiving it during a period of transition. Death all being all about transition and transformation, going in, you know, a caterpillar and coming out, emerging a butterfly totally new brand new you um from the keepers of the light oracle to the masculine it is horus which for me represents a virgo energy but you guys don't even have any other earth here um not that that necessarily means anything but horus is a virgo um as far as i'm concerned and um it's all about the cosmic gateway so that does connect it to you guys because again it's about a new phase a new chapter the old portal is closed it closed behind us when we walk through it now we're going through the new gateway the new portal the new chapter the new phase we are transitioning we are transforming 
uh, just like Scorpios do. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Thoughts, what you're thinking over yourself, the words you're speaking over yourself, the star, the magician, that's how you're manifesting these things. Lastly, for the feminine from the Keepers of the Light Oracle, call to action, Commander Ashtar. I think I talked about being called to action. And so many signs have gotten this card in this exact placement. Placement. So for a lot of the feminine, it's time for us to like get up and, you know, take charge of something. <laughs> yeah, I, I promise I didn't know the card said take charge. But yeah, um, definitely. I feel it. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Wow, Scorpio. Do it big. I kind of envy y'all. <laughs> Gemini was not nearly this exciting. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, and maybe even that you find it helpful and you learn something from it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you, again, if you have not subscribed, hit, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button. And if you're interested in a private reading from me or energy healing from me or anything that I do, the cool merchandise that I have available through my partnerships with the um, artists on Teespring or on my social six page. I will try to have all of that in the description box for you. Otherwise, you guys can always hit me up on any of my social media. You know, um, friend me. I got friend page and I got fan page. But I, I honestly, I rarely go on my fan page. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd rather be on the friend page talking to you guys and sharing, you know, life and love with you. So hit me up. Um, be well. Namaste.